All right, welcome. In this video, we're going to solve this problem. However, first I recommend that you pause the video and try it on your own. See what you can do. Then play the video to compare. All right, so let's start by reading the problem. It says that Keith determines the zeros of the function f of x to be negative 6 and 5. What could be Keith's function? So the zeros of a function, um, we can describe that graphically. It can be thought of as the roots of the parabola. Um, each of these will form a shape that looks like a parabola, which is, let me just sketch that out. So here's our x and our y-axis. A parabola is going to be something like this. So uh, like an upside down u. Or, let's draw a separate graph over here. A parabola might typically look uh, facing the other way, like a smile like a u-shape, right? Either case, the, the zeros of the function are specifically when the height of the parabola is zero, so on the x-axis. Sometimes they're called the roots or the zeros, right? So in both cases, right, these two parabolas have different roots. It looks like the way I sketched it, but they're both when the height is zero, on the y-axis at zero. So here, the zeros of the function, well, how can we solve this? They determine the function zeros to be negative 6, so maybe this is about the point, it would be the point negative 6, 0 on a graph, and 5. So 5, that point would be the point 5, comma 0. Here it looks like, let's assume I've drawn this perfectly here, right? So it could be something like one of these two parabolas. Oops, scribbles. So it could be 5, 0 as well. So we don't know which exact parabola we have here. Uh, at this point, there are many poss there are me, infinite possibilities. Um, we just know it has to cross the x-axis at these two points. Now, what's nice about the algebra is that uh, because we're looking for the roots, or when the heights are zero, that means when f of x is zero. f of x is can be thought of as your output or your y value. So that's when that equals zero. So if we look at these examples, like just look at the first one. It says x. That's not a good color to write with. Sorry. So x plus 5 times x plus 6, we're saying the zeros or the roots when f of x is 0. So in order for um, this equation to equal 0, in this scenario, oops, that's plus 6, x could be two different things. If this binomial equals 0, so in that case, if x is negative 5, because if x is negative 5, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. If this binomial is 0, 0 times anything, even though if x is negative 5, this is 1, negative 5 plus 6 is 1, 1 times 0 is still 0. So that's one scenario for this first one. One of the zeros would be when x is negative 5. Now we're looking for zeros of 5 and negative 6, not negative 5. We're looking for positive 5. So we don't have to go any further, but just for fun, the other 0 that would work is that if this binomial was 0, so if x was negative 6, then this whole product would be 0. So in the first function, we can eliminate that choice because the two zeros are negative 5 and negative 6. In choice 2, um, again, the zeros that we can plug in, so x would be uh, negative 5, one value that would work. If x was negative 5, then this whole product would be 0. And the other one is if x were 6, right, then the whole product would be 0. But we're not looking for that. We're looking for negative 6 and positive 5. In choice three, here, if x is five, right, think about that, if you plug in five for x, five minus five is zero, uh, and the whole product is then zero, so far it's working. And here, if x is negative six, negative six plus six is also zero, so the whole product could be zero as well. So x could be five, or negative six, um, or both. And this function would have an output, a height, where f of x is your height, your output of zero. So that just means that our, our answer choice, I believe, is choice three, unless I read something wrong. Let's take a look. Oops. Um, yes, it's choice three, because the, the zeros are negative six and five, and just for fun, choice four, the x value is the zeros would be five and six. So the language here is heavy. We call these things roots on a graph, right? Or zeros and an expression or equation, but it really is describing the same thing: roots and zeros. The zeros are specifically the x values that quote zero out your function or make the height zero. So here, when they're determining the zeros, they're saying what are the x values that give us a height of zero or an output of zero. Thank you.